Hi friends, it's Deanna Williston from Our Blooming Catholic Life, and here is our second package for the week. Uh, because I like to keep it real with you, I already made a video where I started this, but then somebody started weed whacking really close to my site, and my microphone completely glitched, and the whole video was ruined. So I'm starting over again. Um, I'm not even going to lie, I know what's in this package. <laughs> It was still pretty exciting. Sorry you missed it. I was so excited to get this. Okay, so I've been doing evening prayer with some friends over Zoom, some fellow secular Franciscans. It has been a great way to connect. It's members of my fraternity, past and present. So several of the people who join us have actually moved to Florida and are in new fraternities now. And it's been exciting for me to meet them because they know a great deal of the fraternity members. Um, and some stories over time. It's just some great events. It's been really fun for me to start those friendships with people who I missed out on. Um, so it's great. Now I know them. So when people talk about them, I know who they are too. And all so different things. One, I want to say, normally when we do evening prayer, right, you alternate side one and side two for the Psalms. You alternate who says a paragraph. So there's like four official roles, I think, you know, and the people who have that official role then read certain things and then alternate sides for the Psalms. All fun and games, but doing that over a conference video system doesn't really work. The audio is bleh, glitchy and you can't really make it out and it's very distracting. So they've, they've perfected almost completely their own system. So like whoever is, there's a leader and then it's like the leader starts us out and says the main prayers at beginning and end. And then we have like Antiphon 1 and that side one, that person is responsible for actually reading the antiphon and then there's side one when they read the psalm. So antiphon one, side two, then just does every other one during the psalm. Um, and so there's then there's antiphon two, side one and side two, antiphon three, side one and side two. Uh, there's somebody who does the readings and if they do the readings then they do the responses and so then there's somebody who responds to them. And then there's somebody who does the intercessions. And normally that respondent from the responsorial also does the response on the intercessions. And of course we add to that from our personal prayers. And then there's, um, when we get to the canticle, we tend to, so the leader starts us off, reads the antiphon and starts the, the canticle. And then we just kind of organically say it one by one. That's not assigned. And sometimes there's two people saying it and it, being Franciscans are like, no, you do it. No. Yeah, it does. It works out fine. Really, it does. Um, even if two people are saying it, it's not horrible. It's when you get three people involved that it gets really glitchy. Um, so the two, we work out fine. And then the leader again closes us out. So it's worked really well until we got to St. Bonaventure's Feast Day. It was like, and somebody pulls out this book and he's like, hmm, does anybody else have this? And it turns out, surprise, surprise, I'd never even heard of this, that there is a supplement for Franciscan saints and blesseds. Now, those using the app, I don't know how you access that on the app or website, but there was like a reddish looking book for the one volume Christian prayer. And somebody else though, who has the four volume had all four. Now, when we looked on eBay, these were cost like $4,000, but I will tell you how you can get them for just like $45. <laughs> you can see they are very nicely, it might, might not be coming through perfectly, but they are color coded to go with the four volume set. So yay that. Um, my covers for my breviary, they're all black. So what I've done is add little colored tassels that are the appropriate color. And these are small enough. Um, the green and brown ones are a little bit thicker, but they're going to fit inside the cover. There should be plenty of room to put these. But I will tell you the website I got these from, if you get your breviaries from them, they have covers. Now their covers aren't zipped. Mine are, I guess, leatherette and they're zipped. Um, and they were fairly pricey, so I'm not going to get a new ones. But if you haven't gotten them, you could consider this. Their covers actually have a pocket that these fit into in the front as well as then have your whole breviary, at breviary in the other pocket. Um, so I will tell you, it's inside one of these books. There's 
just like the last book we reviewed, there's lots of little treasures. So if I go in volume one, I went to get volume one and I was like, wait a second, what's in here? This is really funny. This is telling you the price of their Divine Mercy prayer cards in the Divine Mercy Novena and Chaplet pamphlets. Um, you can get that from shopmercy.org as well. But if you're here already, you might want to get it all. Um, but they also have a variety of pillowcases for sale on their website. I totally didn't see any of that. I was very concentrated as I went through. Um, so where I got it from, if this is showing up correctly, not 100%, I think it does. Um, it's CFP Holy Angels Religious Shop. That's Confraternity of Penitence? Yep. Confraternity of Pel Penitence Holy Angels Gift Shop. And I'm going to try and sign out the website for you. So it's CF? Not sure that F. P. Uh, it's P is this P? H? O. L. Y. A N G E L S and then I don't know dot <laughs> C O M I'll have to get somebody to tell me how to do the the dot because I don't know that um and that's gonna bring up a whole another sign language topic another day but they're located in Fort Wayne Indiana and they include their business card so if you can see that it's right there what else was in here I thought this. They might have done this for the current crisis. It is a Saint Corona, patron saint of pandemic and epidemic sufferers. So we actually have a little Saint Corona prayer card included in our books. So I thought that was sweet and timely. Um, do the other books have anything in them? They do not appear to have anything in them. Ah, uh, darn, nab it. The fun ended there. Oh well. So I will tell you what is in here. And it's kind of nice. So it says proper offices of Franciscan saints and blesseds in the liturgy of the hours. It has a little Franciscan crest. It says my God and my all in the banner underneath. Um, and I'm not sure why, but this one's glued on. There must have been a, a typo or something where they changed it. Uh, so it's volume one, Advent season and Christmas season. Um, you open it up. It's just, you know, normal little book. Let's see here. Approved. Oh, so it is approved by the Sacred Congregation for Divine Worship for the use of Friars Minor, Friars Minor Conventional, Friars Minor Capuchin, Poor Clares, and members of the Third Order Regular and Secular. Whew, we got in there in the end, friends. Um, it does say Advent and Christmas season, English transition, English translation prepared by the Friars of Franciscan Liturgical Products. Published by the English Speaking Conference of the Orders of Friar Minor. And this is a 1975 edition that I have. Um, as some little sign off on Concordat Cum Texi Bus, original bus, a reviser, all the copyright stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Um, printed and bound by Catholic Book Publishing Corporation in New Jersey, but then it says it's printed in Korea. So, oh, very nicely here, Franciscan calendar. So it's not just the saints and blessed. So this is kind of interesting. First one is Holy Name of Jesus, which is a memorial. Blessed Angel of Fol Foligno, religious third order for the third order. Oh, so it marks what order as well. But I don't like in the parentheses it says for the third order. Do you other, do you friars not pray on those ones? I don't know. You'll have to let us know in the comments below. Um, we pray yours. I'm just saying, we pray yours. Just, just, just putting it out there if you feel so moved to add ours to your list. Um, but then it has like Blessed Bernard, First Order, Blessed Odoric, uh, Bernard, First Order, Memorial. Um, and it does have like Peter Baptist, Paul Mickey, and Companions, Martyrs, so First and Third Orders listed there. Um, I like that for second and second order nuns i'm confused by that one a memorial third order i feel like it's just going to be easier if you do them all so they're listed by date they list out the month and then list them out by date they tell you if it's a memorial or a feast if it's a blessed it doesn't say memorial or feast it just says the blessed so you don't get anything in red um oh it's interesting they even have on September 1st, like Blessed Beatrice of Sylvia, Virgin's Second Order, for the Conceptionists, it's a feast. 
So there's a lot of detail in here. I'm kind of surprised by that. How are we at 10 minutes? I don't know. Where does the time fly? And it takes us through to November. Oh, so they're all in the front of it. Everybody's in the front. And then it gives you here, there's a little decree. And then this one starts in November. So the full calendar is in the front of the blue book. And then it starts on November 28th. And it gives you a little, little tiny biography like you normally get. Office of readings. Uh, the responsatories here. And a prayer. Okay, so it's just the little bits. Um, sometimes the hymn appears to be changed as well. So that's super interesting. Um, let's just quickly look at the second one. I hear that weed whacker starting up again. Ah! I know, neighbors need orderly yards too and to get the weeds down so we don't have as many pesties out there by our houses. Um, so yes. The calendar is in the second one. Ah! Wanted to check something here, but it's getting loud. It's interesting the Januarys don't match up, match up. See, the holy name of Jesus in one is listed as a memorial, and in the other, it's not. I don't know what that means. Um, but then it picks up, and it, again, it's done by date. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's just check. I imagine three and four. Yeah. Oh, and it does tell you, like, on July 9th, Nicholas Pick, priest and companions, martyr, and then it says first order right there. So it's not just in the calendar. It's in the main body. I'm going to zip out of here because that weed whacker is starting back up. Ah! Um, but God bless you, friends. Again, I got that from the Confraternity of Penitents Holy Angels gift shop. Um, I, like I said, we found them on eBay and some other places, but they were thousands of dollars. They were like $40. And they're color-coded. If you want the covers, you can go to that website. And apparently, uh, pillowcases and prayer cards, too. Okay, friends. God bless. Bye.